man, this is my year. Man, I'm about to go up, up. Man, I'm about to go crazy this year. Stupid. I'm talking about nuts. You ever heard anybody say that? Like, this is the year for elevation. And that, that word's been, like, circulating a lot. Like, a lot, man. Elevation. Um, What does that mean to you? Like... <laughs> I know that's kind of a crazy question, but have you ever thought about that? Like, like what does the word elevation mean to you? What does it mean to me? Um, man, I've been I've been thinking about that, man. Like, yeah, like I want to elevate this year and all these things, but I, I feel like a lot of times we think about elevation and it's like I want a new car or I'm gonna make more money this year or a new house, a new apartment, man. Like people have this crazy perspective on elevation. It's like, okay, I'll know I've I've elevated when I reach this point. Or they have this 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 picture of in their head. It's like this is the person I want to be, and they put pressure on themselves every single day when they fail to reach those standards or those expectations that they've put on themselves of this person that they've made in their head, a, a certain individual, another version of them that they've made in their head. And it's like, I want to be that guy with the, with the cars, with the money. Maybe he gets girls. Like, I want to be that guy. That's who I want to be. And you can be that guy. But I feel like so many people chase that guy and walk right past the mirror and never focus on being the best version of them. Now, listen to what I just said, because I know people might take that out of context in terms of, it's okay to chase that guy, but focus on the guy in the mirror as well. It's, bro, you just gotta understand it. It's just like so many people will throw themselves out of the, out of the picture and chase somebody else. And try to try to bro and they'll try to bear somebody else's motivation they'll try to grasp grasp somebody else's strategies you cannot do that you gotta focus i just feel like by focusing on being the best you that you can be however that may look to you you no longer have to chase that guy anymore it's no longer a rat race because you've already won mentally. Have you ever thought about elevation looking like this? Like, no haircut, like my beard ain't like I wanted to, but you ever thought about that? And like, what does that mean to you? Like, I feel like when we talk about elevation, it's more so like the picture perfect stuff that we see on Instagram, like for the men, it's like having everything together and, you know, elevating and you you perfect all the time and that's not reality you know like for me i feel like elevation is and it's different for everybody but i feel like for me elevation is staying focused like but focused on being focused oh my gosh like that's that's where i'm at right now like i'm trying to focus on being focused or staying focused and that might look like you know I'm looking a little busted right now, but that, to me, that's what elevation looks like. Like when I'm able to bypass what somebody thinks of me because I'm so focused on being focused, that was, that's what elevation looks like to me. And it's, a, it's an interesting question. And I'm not saying that just because you walk around like, or just because you have your beard and everything neat that you care about what other people think not what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is just a principle to me in terms of like, hey, cause I used to be like that. You know, like we have all these distractions. Man, distract, like you're, when you have that time to think and when you're on scrolling on Instagram and you're just looking and you're comparing yourself to other people's like best moments on Instagram, like it's not their entire life, that's one post. Like this year I wanna elevate, but how? <laughs> Like, like how, why? Like more importantly, why? Like, why are you going to elevate? Is it, you gonna do it just because it's a new year and it's, that's what you're supposed to do? Like that's what, 
people tell you you're supposed to, that's what you feel like you're supposed to do, like, why do you want to elevate? And think about that, man. It's like, okay, why do I want to elevate? Makes it personal. You see, I, and for me, I'm not even worried about the elevation standpoint because I feel like that's going to come. It's just a byproduct. Like, I'm just focused on the process, the processes. You know, they say, they say, they say good habits breed success. I'm not even worried about success. Like, I want to be successful. Like, of course, like, who doesn't want to be successful? Right? But I'm not focused on success. Like, I'm just focused on being the best me that I can be. And you look at where I'm at right now. Like, I, my beard, it, the, my beard's not the PS. My, my, I need a cut. I need a chop bad, bro. But I'm just so focused on just, like, being present with who I am and loving me that I don't need a haircut. Like, regardless of who says what, when I take my hat off or when I walk in, if I look scruffy, it doesn't matter to me because I feel like I'm so focused on trying to love me for me right now the way I look that when I get a haircut, I already know what's up. <laughs> I already know. It's like, you know, it's just like people say, ah, oh, I'm down bad right now, but then they get a cut, then they, then they get a chop and they like, ah, oh, I'm back to life. It's like, I don't need that. It's like, I would love a haircut to look more presentable, uh, be more professional, you know, be able to, but at the same time, it's like, I don't necessarily need it because I'm at the space of, in my life to where like cut or no cut, I'm the same me. That confidence level is still the same. Like even if, if I get a cut, you know, it, give or take, it might boost a couple of points, but it's not going to dramatically change because I got a haircut. It's not going to do that. And that's where I'm at in my process with all my processes and turn like it's it's what five o'clock right now just trying to wake up and, and get active and and do the things man and not let my mind get idle because i have a vision of elevation to be the best me that i can be and stop chasing the god that i've always had in my head that i feel like i should be or stop looking at that place to where i feel like i should be because of where i am in my life right now and then consistently failing to reach failing to reach those standards because the reality of it all is i'm just not there yet i'm not ready i'm not ready for that right like god will put something on your heart and show you that it's possible right god will put people in your life to help you throughout your process and show you what's possible for you let you touch it like you might touch you where you might touch a rack you might touch 10 racks you might see all that. You might see a hundred, right? You never know. You might get the keys or drive somebody's Corvette, bro. You never know. You might walk in somebody's three-story house, crazy mansion. You never. You might get flown out by a, you know, somebody famous or whatever, and and them and steal that. But it, you're just not ready. But what I'm, but what I'm saying is, God will allow you to touch things to show you that it's possible for you. But you're just not ready to receive those things, those blessings just yet. Sometimes it's about doing the work first and meeting God halfway. The way I think about it is, it's not just for me. Like, I want to elevate so that I can help others, bring value to others. And on the flip side of that coin, I'm more so like, hey, look, I can only help myself first to be able to help these people. Now I can help them through the process, right? But I gotta get there. Like I gotta make sure that I get there so that, it's like Harriet Tubman, like she didn't go halfway and turn around and be like, oh, I seen you halfway, I'm gonna go back in. <laughs> she didn't do that, she went all the way. She went all the way and then came back and got more. And every single journey she learned more and more about the process, right? more about the process to be able to you know adjust her 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 strategies her tactics and she brought more and more people so that's what i feel like is you got to understand this it's not selfish for taking time to yourself it's not that's it's not being how can you be selfish with your time for you that's not being selfish 
It's being selfish, giving away all your time and not, fo it's like working and not focusing on yourself. It's like working a job 40 hours for somebody for a job, 40 hours, boom. And then every day you go home, you just chill and lay down and relax, but you never do anything for yourself in terms of self-care, uh, mental uh, uh, mindfulness, right? The gym, uh, working on a side hustle. Why put 40 hours building somebody else's uh, business and not do and not not build towards your own you are the business you are the brand so i ask you like why do you want to elevate and what does it mean to you and ooh, 